Hello everyone, welcome to Matplotlib. Basically, when you work with a Matplotlib or a pileup module, we are going to work on object-oriented programming. So, as we know that, like basically, this pileup is known as procedural interface for the Matplotlib, which is designed and developed by a Matplot features for the programming language. So, if you go with this module, what happened? We are going with working with the object oriented plotting means we can use the object to handle this particular areas. So with the help of this package, you can go with the pie plots where you have to plot the things plot means your graphical representation in a graph way. We are doing the plotting here with the help of your numpy pandas as we discussed this numpy pandas concept in a previous sessions. We know that NumPy is used for working on the things where we can work on the things where we can design a, a array, 2D, 3D or you can take as in a basic way NumPy is used for your numerical array or numbers. So for this taking as a x, y, z axis because when you do the uh, plotting that is the main important thing you should have a x axis and y axis. So with the help of x axis, y axis, we are doing a plotting. That's why when you use this PyLab, PyLab is nothing but we call Python lab. Whenever we use this PyLab module, we call as is a convergence module that bulk imports matplotlib or the pyplots. Or we can take as with the help of your x or y axis, we design a V where we can use this particular areas in the graphical representation. So I hope you are clear with the theoretical aspect of your PyLab module. This is just a library or module you can take as. Now to understand this is in a practical way, let's jump to the Jupyter Notebook to understand how you have to import it, how you have to use this PyLab module on that. Let's move to import at first. So first we are importing import. Uh, we are just going with the from numpy import star so that's your wish you can go with the num import numpy as np so i just need all the features on that so going with star then the pylab that was the most important from pylab then import and then going with the star we just run this it's a little bit time to run this so after when you run this particular area we are just creating the things for the x-axis and the y-axis so it's already run so we are going with x-axis to so x1 equals to going with the lens space because with that we are to creating the axis lens space and then inside that it's your wish what a value you have to give it so i'm giving here minus 5 comma 7 or go with the 5 comma 50. So the first value I give for the x-axis now for the y-axis I'm going with the x2. Here we can give whatever your wish the first I'm giving the x1 whatever the x1 value will be there with the help of plus 5 it will be creating the y-axis. Now let's move to plot it. So the plot you have to pass x-axis as well as your y-axis also. So remember that here I'm using x1 x2 that is nothing but your x-axis or y-axis let's I just put this it's a uh, x1 equals to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, your yeah so x1 equals to your x-axis and your x2 equals to y-axis so those two is used for plotting x and y and then we already plotted so the last show time you have to go with the show operations where we want to show this plot how it's look so show sure, we can run we just wait for a while our particular things are ready to reside in so this is how we are using this lens space with the first pile up plot the same way we are going to create one more curve type i need to go with the curve type here we are going with the first x axis x equals to your lens space lens space and just moving towards to the values i'm going with minus 2 comma 2 comma 20 now let's see the y axis value y equals to x star and go with the power power then we have to plot that x and y that variables name it's your wish what you want to give it and then it's show time you have to going with the show 
so when you run you can get a curve so this is in your hand how you have to use this because uh, we are using for plotting the things in that we have a lots of symbol to use this the plotting rather than the lines you can provide the additional strings okay like dash double dash dot you can go with the dots operator you can go with the d colors there is a colors those things uh, we can go with the another sections like where you understand by default it comes to the blue color okay but we have a variety of colors to understand this plotting let's and let's go with the another examples of this like suppose you want to go with the same lens space and but the different different values here so now i'm going with the first values going with x3 x3 equals to uh like uh, what we have to give the lens but then only if we can add it so lens space lens s p a c e s p a c e lens space here we are giving the things uh so we are moving towards to the things where we are providing here lens space already done so we are giving the values so 2 comma uh, 2 comma 2 comma 20 and then we are going to x4 x4 and then we are going to the x3 and multiply of the two so then you have to plot x and y both so plot x3 comma x4 so don't forget this x3 x4 it's your x axis y axis so x3 is belong to x axis and your x4 is belongs to y axis for the plotting this is the plot is done let's move to show this show the plot we run this it's take little bit time but nothing came because what happened we are going with all the positive value how come it's come so just if you change with minus 2 minus just go with minus 2 uh, just a minute yeah you are going with the minus 2 here and we run this so now you can take this it's come because we need to go with the things where we can plot it in that particular area now i hope you understand the concept of pi lab how you have to plot it but in the next session we are going to understand the things where we can change the colors and here if you observe with the single lines but you have a symbols to do that dot that you have a line space so we have more symbols so we can use those symbols in our next session to understand plotting with the help of pilap in a more way so thank you guys